about criticality in a nuclear reactor. 1. Nuclear reactors use uranium fuel rods, long, slender, zirconium metal tubes containing pellets of fissionable material to create energy through fission. And fission produces a great deal of energy in the form of very high heat and radiation. That's why reactors are housed in structures sealed under thick metal-reinforced concrete domes. And power plants harness this energy and heat to produce steam to drive generators that produce electricity. 3. Criticality means that a reactor is controlling a sustained fission chain reaction, where each fission event releases a sufficient number of neutrons to maintain an ongoing series of reactions. 4. This is the normal state of nuclear power generation. 5. Fuel rods inside a nuclear reactor are producing and losing a constant number of neutrons, and the nuclear energy system is stable. 6. Nuclear power technicians have procedures in place, some of them automated, in case a situation arises in which more or fewer neutrons are produced and lost. But when a reactor is starting up, the number of neutrons is increased slowly in a controlled manner. Neutron-absorbing control rods in the reactor core are used to calibrate neutron production. The control rods are made from neutron-absorbing elements, such as cadmium, boron, or hafnium. And the deeper the rods are lowered into the reactor core, the more neutrons the rods absorb and the less fission occurs. And technicians pull up or lower down the control rods into the reactor core, depending on whether more or less fission, neutron production, and power are desired. Um, should a malfunction occur, technicians can remotely plunge control rods into the reactor core to quickly soak up neutrons and shut down the nuclear reaction. What is supercriticality? One, at startup, the nuclear reactor is briefly put into a state that produces more neutrons than are lost. Two, this condition is called the supercritical state, which allows the neutron population to increase and more power to be produced. Three, when the desired power production is reached, adjustments are made to place the reactor into the critical state that sustains neutron balance and power production.